All right. Uh, so uh, now we're on to creating text in, uh, in Illustrator. Okay, so text is kind of a mess. Uh, the main tool to create text is obviously the type tool. Why isn't it called the text tool? Because, well, you know, that would be way too easy. Uh, so it's, uh, it's over here. Um, so to create text, you simply write, and then you can start writing text. Uh, to get out of there, of course, you can't use V anymore to, to select the arrow tool. So you want to use Escape to not have to uh, select something else in the toolbar, and that uh, returns you to the uh, to the last tool I think that you had selected. If you want to create multi-line text now, um, or let's say a text column, uh, you just drag uh, the text. The um, so so once you have the the text tool selected, you drag it, uh, and that'll create something that'll wrap instead of just growing and growing and growing, unlike this one, which is just going to grow and grow and grow and grow. So I guess you have to set it beforehand, like whether it wraps or it doesn't wrap. Um, so to change the properties of um, of text, uh, you want to use these <laughs> one of these eight different palettes <laughs> which are just for text uh, so there are a lot of them uh, it's 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 really quite uh, amazing the type of stuff that you can do in illustrator with text but we're just going to cover the basics uh, so there's the character um, open uh, open type paragraph is also going to be quite useful so character paragraph and open type is probably the tools that you want Okay, so to change the font, uh, you can either go into type, uh, font, and select a font here with uh, its own preview, let's say, uh, or you can select it from this guy. And here, for whatever reason, you won't have the preview, you'll just have the names of the fonts. It's one of those things. Um, and you can set the, uh, the exact type, so if you have a font like, uh, let's say, Arial, uh, you can select it as narrow, bold, bold italic, and so on and so forth. So you can set it to narrow. Uh, you have several options to modify text. Uh, you have, for example, kerning. Um, uh, it, dep it actually depends on the font that you're using, whether you have uh, kerning or no kerning. So you can change the size of fonts, you can set um, the, uh, you can change the, uh, the size uh, of the spacing between the lines. Uh, you can change the, uh, the way that the kerning is done. So for example, you can have a lot of space between the different um, characters. Uh, and you can Right. So if you have... Uh, I can't remember what the uh, <laughs> this thing does. Doesn't really matter. Uh, you can change the aspect ratio. Uh, for example, you can set it wider here as opposed to. Well, we covered that earlier. Uh, same idea here. Uh, you can set it to what the higher. Um, you can set it so that it's uh, like from the from this from the text box. Uh, it's. Uh, uh, like it starts higher, like it's the height of the first line basically. So now it's at like minus nine points. And you can actually do this like within a line, for example, like so. So that's always kind of useful, uh, for example, for making an exponent. Uh, and then you have a rotation, which is kind of obvious. Uh, you can strike things and you can underline them over here. So that's the basics. Now you have uh, also the character properties. Uh, I mean the paragraph properties in addition to characters. So you have the alignment. You can align left or right or like this. You'll notice actually that it's added. Uh, it's actually added um, dashes uh, because uh, it does um, it does automatic like line breaking stuff. 
because it's magic. Uh, actually, those properties, I, I think they're, you, you can change them by changing uh, maybe paragraph style, no, hyphenation. So if you want, you can uh, you, you can change the hyphenation uh, properties. We're not really going to ha uh, go into that. You can justify your text if you want so that it's aligned both on the left and right and you have different types of justify so for example you can justify and have the last line be at the center or be to the right or everything justified uh, and then if you want uh, you can set a certain paragraph uh, to be a little to uh, the uh, the right of the others So this is one way in which you can do uh, lists, right? So you can so you can do that. And for example, uh, if these are indeed uh, bullet points, this, and then I press Control C, Control F to add it on top of it, and then and so on and so forth. Control C, Control F, paste in front, right? And then I can just select these guys, but not the text, and then place it.